So let's go back to our draw sub here. And I'm going to add some comments here because, um, well, this is going to get really cluttered if we don't. So I'm going to say draw um, background. And next up, we're going to draw the menu items. I'm going to say draw menu. Oops. Menu items. And first thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to have to create something to track the count of items uh, in the stacks. And then we're going to have to loop through our um, menu slots and add those items to the slots. Uh, so what we're going to do is say dim i has integer equals zero. And that will track our item counts. And then we're going to create another 4x uh, y loop here. So we're going to say 4x equals 0 to menu x uh, to loop through the x slots. And then we'll say 4y equals 0 to menu y. Um, and now that we're inside of this loop, um, we're going to want to capture our drawing coordinates um, this is going to take, uh, you know, a little bit of positioning to get these uh, right where you want them. And there's probably, you know, better ways to do this than I'm going to. But uh, for the sake of simplicity for now, I'm going to say draw x uh, as integer. Uh, I want to simplify uh, my drawing position so I don't have to do all this additional math as we're going along. Um, I'm going to say I want to draw x as position x plus 28 pixels from the left because, uh, you know, there's going to be a little bit of spacing on the sides of our um, screen, uh, you know, compared to where we're drawing. Uh, I'm going to bring up a visual here again. So, you know, we're positioning all of these little boxes kind of in the center and because they're individual uh, you know I can't just like center them easily you know if I had had them all as sort of one pane it would be easier but um, you know at some point we're gonna have to specify where we want these and and so I'm just gonna start drawing like 28 pixels in and then over to the edge it's kind of probably not the best way to do it but it works and this is just so I don't have to do this math over and over again. I'm going to say uh, 28 pixels from the left and plus um, x times 32. And the reason I'm doing this is because, um, you know, we want our x coordinate times the size of our inventory slot. I'm drawing those 32 by 32 pixels. So that's what I'm doing. Now, uh, we're also going to want a little bit of a spacer in between so they don't all run together. I like having a little bit of a border. So what I'm going to do is say, uh, encapsulate this in parentheses. I'm going to say 32 plus 2 extra pixels. So there's a 2 pixel space in between. All right. And we're going to do the same thing for our Y drawing coordinate. I'm going to say draw Y as integer equals position y that's the top um, the top edge of our new screen plus you know I don't want this I don't want my box to draw at the top of the screen I want it to be down a ways so I'm going to just drop it down 128 pixels uh, kind of puts it closer to the bottom of my new screen and um, I'm going to draw the y coordinate the same way I did the x coordinate. I'm going to say y times the tile size. Oops, I also want a spacer on the y axis there. So I'm going to say plus two more pixels. All right, so now that we have that math handled uh, for the drawing location of each little inventory square, um, we can go ahead and 
check our selection values okay now as we cycle through it you know we want some sort of indicator that shows that we have selected a specific square in our list um, gives you a you know some sort of sense that you're actually doing something or moving uh, the selection around so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say if select X um, equals the X coordinate wherever we're at in this loop and um, select Y equals Y so if my selection value just happens to be the uh, specific square or tile in my inventory screen um, then we'll go ahead and draw a little different you know maybe maybe throw a tint on it or something so I'm gonna say globals dot sprite batch dot draw and for the background of um, you know I'm just gonna try to keep this really simple in the for the background of our tile squares I'm just gonna use a uh, you know a, just a chunk of my menu graphic here for a gradient you know I'm just gonna grab like maybe a 32 pixel square out of this uh, gradient area on this image so I'm just gonna reference um, and that'll that'll actually draw an empty inventory slot so I'm just gonna say textures dot menu one as my reference image and I'm going to draw that new rectangle to draw X draw Y okay and I'm going to draw a 32 by 32 square and the source rectangle the source chunk of that uh, menu graphic that I want to grab is going to be a new rectangle as well and in this case I'm just going to start in the top left corner of that menu image and um, if I go down too far there's the gradient is going to be really strong it's going to go from really light to really dark so I think maybe I'll just grab a 16 by 16 so there's a slight gradient effect there and um, for the color I'm going to set this to something like aquamarine you can change that to whatever you like just to indicate that this particular tile is indeed selected so in this case as it's drawing these the very first one should be selected because you know we're gonna start with a a base value for select X and Y because we never specified anything uh, it's just going to be zero zero so the first tile is automatically going to be selected um, so uh, if we want to read the item description this is a good place to do it um, I'm not going to get into that just yet I want to get our graphics down first before we start uh, reading description so we want the item description of our selected item so if we were to do that we'd want to do it right here now if the present tile we're trying to draw in this loop is not selected then we still need to draw something so I'm thinking an empty inventory slot um, and what I'll do for that is just essentially copy and paste this guy here so we don't have to retype all that out as a blank square and uh, we'll give it a you know maybe a silver backdrop so if it's selected draw this one otherwise you know just draw this other one so there's some sort of indicator showing that look at that 
Okay, so we have, uh, as you can see, this uh, first inventory slot is selected, uh, indicated by the fact that it's an aquamarine color. Actually, it looks kind of more teal than aquamarine to me, but. Uh, and these are just gray rectangles. So we have successfully drawn our inventory panel. Now, what if we want to move this around? Well, I will show you that next.